So I'm at Lenox Square Mall. And we are trying to find a store. We are lost. What I like about Lenox Mall is that there's so many luxury stores. I mean, there's Louis Vuitton and Fendi. <laughs> but I can still get a pair of socks on sale for Macy's for four dollars and these are so fluffy and warm I'm wearing these on Monday because it's so cold so my mom is leaving tomorrow she was here for three weeks which was really helpful she helped me cook she helped me clean she teach me how to make sorrel and ginger beer <laughs> but now I have to do this um, wire sculpture which is why I'm I have on a beanie even though I still have on my bathrobe which was on sale in Walmart I just I love sales guys you can notice that in this video <laughs> love sales um, so I'm going to do that today and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the process so my design is a beluga whale and this is the linear plan for it because I'm making it out of wire. This is the wire that I'm using. This is a um, 16 gauge. So you can see how thick this is and then I have this one which is 22 which is a lot thinner, way more playable. These are the tools. Um, these are the primary tools I'm using. This one really helps to get a grip of the 16 gauge because the 16 gauge is really hard. Um, to bend so I use this like grip it so that I could bend it with this one and this one is I think what you call it needle mouse players and a cutter at the same time I don't know but this is what I'm using I also bought myself a brand new soldering iron um, and some solder so this is going to help me bind the wire together after I finish bend it. Because some things are not like holding up as I'd like. Oh, it says Harris. Didn't notice that before. And I have the unfinished sculpture in the shower because this is the safest place for it. It's pretty fragile if I step on it or I mash it or something falls on it. It will. <laughs> All my work will be undone. Um, this is this is Beluga, and this is the stand which keeps falling apart. Which this part really needs the soldering. And yeah, I'm gonna let you guys see the process. So I'm honestly the worst at vlogging because. Between the last clip and now, I dropped my mom to the airport. She's been here for three weeks, supporting me, helping me get settled, you know, making sure I do all the stuff I need to do. Still haven't done most of it <laughs> before she leaves. So she left today. I was really sad. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. But I almost did. So I took a break. We got back home from the airport and I got back to my way of branding. But I didn't feel any of it. So, I added a lot more wire. You can see it's forming up a lot more and it's looking a lot more like the sketch that I did. So, I'm going to film the process and do like a sped up version. What do you call it? A montage? It, I don't know. I'm going to speed it up <laughs> so, so you, can, you guys can see the process.
So in order to take the picture of the sculpture, which is done, I didn't film it as much as I wanted to, but it has a tail, has is not quite a dorsal fin, but is like part of the the sculpt the um beluga's back where it has a hump but it's not like a fin so that's this part here and you see his um face and stuff like around here and we have one fin can you get that a good angle right like one fin here and the other fin isn't finished but we have all these rocks here which is just spray painted paper that I added to the sculpture because um, every year belugas do this thing where they go to the Somerset Isles uh, close to Canada and they scrub and that was part of the assignment to find something unique about the creature. We learned how to set up lighting so have this light here and that light there and all this trash is on my bed that was once on this table because I needed a clear space in order to take a photo of Beluga to upload because this course that I'm doing is online. But, um, yeah, you might be a little confused about why I moved to Atlanta but I'm still doing online courses and that's because I decided to take two courses on campus and one course online so that I would be spending less time on campus and also so that I would only have one class a day so for as much as possible if I can I would like to keep doing at least one online classes that way I can schedule my days in such a way that I can come home and do homework on evenings as opposed to spend the whole day going to classes and then being so tired that I don't have any energy for anything else so that is my plan now. We'll see how much that can work out later. So, let me switch out the wig back to my um, fake ponytail. Um, I actually finally got tired of it. I've been wearing it all right. like a month and a half. Because I was wearing it before Christmas. And I just got tired of it, so I don't even know what to do with my hair. It's always a dilemma what to do with my hair, which is why I started wearing wigs and stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to wrap this for a while. I think my edges are thinning a little bit. So I'm going to just like keep my hair. It's so dry here. I think if I don't use protective stuff, my hair is going to break off. So I don't know. I'm tired. Just came back from class. Going to find something to eat.